Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. Um, tonight's show is going to be an apology to Kate Blanchett, who's made a fantastic film with this film tar. It's quite a right-wing film. Stick around and listen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain. Tonight we're going to talk about the film Tar, which I saw. A few of you who regularly watch this show will know that about, I don't know, five or six uh, reports back, I kind of attacked Kate Blanchett, and I still stand by some of the things I said in that, but I, I hadn't seen the new film Tar at that stage, and I thought, to be fair, I should go along and see it. And I have, ladies and gentlemen, I've got some wonderful news. It's a brilliant film. It's a brilliant film. And uh, it's an anti-cancel culture film, so this is a kind of third report in a row I've done, which is a kind of anti-cancel culture, which I think shows you how passionately I feel about the topic. But yeah, it's a kind of anti-cancel culture film. It's about a, um, Tara is about a, a female composer um, who uh, is basically a genius. Um, she um, is involved in uh, the interpretations of, you know, the, the great white men of, um, you know, classical music. Let's face it, just, I mean, 99.9% .9 of all uh, classical composers are, are usually dead white men, you know, in, in, from, from Bach to Beethoven to Mozart, you know, to Liszt, uh, Verdi, Mahler, on and on and on. All these great geniuses, right? And so she she's a brilliant interpreter of these people's music. And she's accused of, of uh, God knows what. I mean, you know, it's clear that she's been accused by some past students, whether they were mentally ill, whether they really, um, you know, had done something with her or whether she'd acted inappropriately is kind of left up in the air but um it's it's a really um fascinating film and there's a, a great um sequence where she's le lecturing at a kind of university and someone sort of confronts her with kind of black lives matter stuff and her character is dismissive and say you can't say that about classical composers you can't judge you know all of history and all of art under the guise of kind of black lives matter and you know whether the fact that they're cisgendered white males so she's quite a right-wing character and it was a real surprise and what's interesting too is Kate Blanchett uh, said in a previous report that she's never blown me away in a role well now she has has, ladies and gentlemen. She did blow me away 25 years ago when she was in Oleana with Jeffrey Rush, and she blew me away in this film, ladies and gentlemen. She's absolutely fantastic uh, as uh, Linda Tarr. Got a fascinating backstory, and um, you know, there's a fascinating villain in the film, um, this Jewish guy by the name of Kaplan, who's sort of like a you know, a wealthy, you know, he's a philanthropist who's basically trying to steal um, her career. And it appears that he's almost been behind all the various things, the cancel culture things, that happened to uh, Linda Tarr in the, in the film. So it's brilliant. It is a long film. It's about three hours long. I would say... It, it's 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 really quite a right-wing film and not many people have commented on that some have noticed that and I really highly recommend it to, to the audience here at the report from Tiger Mountain so I know you know Kate Blanchett is still running around saying the old woke thing maybe she's trying to cover up for the fact that she's made the most subversive right-wing film of the year which it appears will probably win the Oscar ladies and gentlemen so I have to now salute Kate Blanchett Aussie hero and maybe new hero of the new right <laughs>